this video, we will look at a new generation tank being developed by a company called General Dynamics Land Systems. General Dynamics is currently running prototype trials on newly added features to test efficiency and to decide if they can be implemented into the production version of the Abrams X tank. If you're looking to learn more about this newest tank still in development and the details just recently released to the public, keep watching. The US Army is testing a next generation AI enabled battle tank. The tank, Abrams X, is equipped with an artificial intelligence system that can quickly process data and use it to improve the accuracy of the tank's weapons. The Abrams X was announced by Raytheon in April 2018. This is an autonomous tank that will be able to identify and engage targets without human input. It will have a 360 degree camera system, thermal imaging, and radar. The Abrams X AI enabled battle tank is currently being considered as a possible replacement for the original M1 Abrams. They say the Abrams X is the most technologically advanced tank ever built, and it's armed with some serious artillery. But there's more to it than meets the eye. Inside, it has a new artificial intelligence to help coordinate its different systems and sensors, sparking a whole new beast of a tank. To help appreciate where the concept of Abrams X is today, it's important to take a look at the original line of tanks that it precedes. The M1 Abrams is a third generation US battle tank. It is named after General Crichton W. Abrams, the former commander of the 37th Armored Battalion and the US Army's first chief of staff, who died in 1974. The Abrams was originally intended to be a lighter, more mobile version of the M60 Patton series tanks. The Abrams became one of the most widely used tanks in modern American military history, with more than 25 countries either producing or operating it after its introduction in 1979. The M1 Abrams was developed by Chrysler Defense, now General Dynamics Land Systems, and was first delivered to the U.S. Army in 1980. The M1A1 model was delivered to Egypt in 1985 for use in their war with Israel that same year. It was used heavily by Kuwait during Operation Desert Storm against Iraqi forces in 1991. The M1 has also been used by Iraq since the 2003 invasion of Iraq by American forces and is still being used today as well as in other countries like Australia and Saudi Arabia, which have bought them from the United States. The M1 Abrams is one of the most well-known tanks in the world. It was designed to take on any type of terrain and is equipped with a powerful 120mm cannon that is capable of firing armor-piercing shells at 3,900 feet per second. The M1 Abrams tank was designed to be highly mobile, heavily armored, and equipped with a 12.7mm machine gun on top of the turret. It is considered to be one of the best tanks in the world because it is cheap, effective, and has no known multi-terrain rival. If you're enjoying learning about the Abrams X tank, be sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. The M1 Abrams was followed by the M1A1 and the M1A2 models. These were similar to the M1 Abrams in design and capability, but had upgrades and newer technology added to them. In both the M1A1 and M1A2, the commander has a 12.7 mm Browning M2 machine gun, and the loader has a 7.62 mm M240 machine gun. The M1A2 SEP is equipped with a turret-mounted General Dynamics Land Systems 105mm cannon, which can fire all current NATO ammunition as well as the latest version of the depleted uranium penetrator, known as DM-11. The gunner is provided with a stabilized panoramic sight and an advanced ballistic computer that can compute firing solutions faster than any previous tank system. The M1A2 SEP also has improved fire control and stabilization equipment and better composite armor than its predecessor, the M1 Abrams, which provides enhanced protection against mines and improvised explosive devices, IEDs. The M1A2 SEP V3 is currently the latest version of the tank, and it can be used as a platform for different modules like the Crows 2 Remote Weapon Station or Tusk. The US Army has been testing the new Abrams X tank for the last few years. The tank has a 360-degree view of its surroundings and can identify targets in real time. The Abrams X will be able to identify and engage these targets without human intervention, in contrast to the current M1A2, which requires a human operator to do so. With this new weapon system, the US military has introduced hardcore artificial intelligence systems into tanks for the first time, 
enabling it to use data from sensors and cameras to identify threats and make decisions quicker than a human could. The Abrams X-Tank will be able to take in data from multiple sources like sensors, drones, satellites, and other tanks. It will then process this information and provide recommendations to the crew based on what it knows about the mission, the enemy, and the terrain. The Abrams X is a tank that was designed to have the best of both worlds. It has the firepower and armor of a tank, but also has the maneuverability and speed of a lighter vehicle. This is because it was designed with an emphasis on defense in mind. The Abrams X is equipped with new armor, which will provide better protection against different types of attacks. The hull armor is made out of composite material, and it provides protection against kinetic energy rounds and RPGs. The turret will also be made out of a composite material, which offers better resistance to kinetic energy rounds and RPGs. The Abrams X will also have an improved fire suppression system, which will make it easier to survive a hit from an incendiary weapon like white phosphorus or thermite-based weapons like TOW-2B missile launchers. The Abrams X will have a new active protection system, which is supposed to be able to detect and defend against threats from all directions. This system will help the Abrams X better protect against itself against different types of attacks, including missiles and rocket-propelled grenades. The Abrams X will also have improved armor in the form of an external layer that can withstand direct hits from armor-piercing rounds. The Abrams X tank's primary armament is the XM360, a 120mm smoothbore cannon capable of firing NATO standard rounds. The cannon will also have advanced fire control systems, including a ballistic computer and laser rangefinder. The Abrams X will also be equipped with two M2HB 50 caliber machine guns in the turret, one coaxial to the main armament and another at the commander's hatch for close defense against infantry or low-flying aircraft. This new tank armament is designed to be used in urban environments as well as on the battlefield. The Abrams X tank armament will also be able to carry a larger number of rounds than the current model. One of the most significant changes in the Abrams X is its hybrid power system. Its primary energy source is advanced diesel engines, with parallel electric batteries serving as backup. Electricity provides power during periods of low demand, such as when it is not in use or when it is exported. The tank is diesel powered, with electricity available to assist during peak energy usage periods. The vehicle's current configuration is sufficient to meet current range demands while consuming half the fuel, but it can be increased if necessary. The new AI system is the biggest part of this new tank, and will help the Abrams X and its crew to make better decisions on the battlefield. AI-enabled tanks are the future of battlefield technology and are expected to be more efficient than their predecessors. In addition, these tanks will be able to learn from their mistakes and adapt to new threats as they arise in real time without human intervention. The M1A2 is expected to remain in service until at least 2040. It will be replaced by the Abrams X AI-enabled battle tank, which will have autonomous capabilities that can make decisions on its own to help avoid human error. The use of artificial intelligence in warfare has become a topic of debate among experts and academics in military history, computer science, and ethics. The future of warfare is upon us. With these technologies, the military has adapted to this new reality and stays one step ahead of its opponents with new equipment like the Abrams X. What do you think of the Abrams X? Is it better than the original M1 Abrams? Let us know in the comments. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching Military Minds and remember to like and subscribe for more videos. See you next time.